This is Ugep in your local government of Cross River State, where Angela Ambrose lives with her parents. The 19-year-old says she ventured into the male-dominated trade of wheel balancing and motor alignment after watching her father in the workshop since age 10. And this one is like relatively easy. It's easier than most mechanic jobs. So because the only thing I need to do is like when I see the alignment, I just need to slack the tire rod and you know adjust it. It's easier. The wheel balancing is also easier. And uh, changing of oil, we do all that. And my sisters were like very like big inspirations to me. So I would just say it's maybe easier. And I work with women, so it's easier and more comfortable. And it's my father, so everything is okay for me. Apart from Angela, her two sisters are equally involved in the trade of wheel balancing and motor alignment. Her father, Ambrose, explains the attraction. Those who they normally come stay here, then uh, the, most, the senior one said that uh, the way you see the job, that they can do it. I thought that women know they do uh, this type of thing. He said, no, she can do it. Then the following day, really, she come in and jump in, start to do the work through through. Okay. Start to ask me to teach her, I'm teaching her, the, the three of them. Yes, women, they're more intelligent than men because I have trained so many other boys. But this girl came, as she said that, I see that, I see different. When you teach them something worse, they don't copy. And they, they're more careful than men and they, they Mostly honest, that one may suit me hard. Despite the joy and gains derived from the trade, Angela says it comes with discrimination. Well, some say that my hands are uh, too soft and too tiny to like handle the tired or the alignment. Okay, so some say that. yes, and some say that because I'm a girl, I don't have like the the strength or maybe the brain to maybe do this kind of job that. It's just for show and fancy and all that. Huh? But at the end of the, of the day, I still prove them wrong, so I'm thankful. It's okay to get your hands dirty. It's, I know that like, it's relatively easy to like, you know, go out and uh, have fun with your friends. It's easy. It's very easy. This one is harder because I, <laughs> when I come back, I'm literally very tired, like very tired. I don't go out anywhere. So, but this one, huh? this one, I buy clothes with it. I feed myself. Huh? I do everything with this job. And at the end of the day, look, I'm not dirty. When you are done, you can wash your hands. This one is it's like, 10, like 100% better than any other job out there. But the discrimination does not change the fact about patronage. We met one of our customers who tells us why he prefers to bring his car for Angela to work on. But from my observation, it's, it's a very fantastic uh, service. So far, I've been working with them and I've really been getting a uh, value for money. So they know their job and they get very high number of patronage on a daily basis, which I'm one of. For Angela's mother, Rosemary Ambrose, seeing her three daughters gradually taking over their father's business, gladdens her hearts. Because when it started, people were talking that my children are mad people because of the way they dress. When I'm going out with them, they will say, look at these mad people. But I'm so grateful for, to God. I am so happy all the time to see my children like this. With this work, they have gone to so many, the two of them have gone to school. The other are graduated, the other is still doing year two. And this one is about to go. But from their father work, which they follow to do, they pay their school fees, they spend everything, they do everything. And now, I thank God that they are graduates and undergraduates through this work. 19-year-old Angela Ambrose, who just completed secondary school awaiting university admission, intends to go into broadcasting to add to her skills. Monica Ogwa, STV News, Port Accords.